Six Helix, we are going to get into some of the sounds I've been using, and we are going to be doing a lot more listening to sounds and a little less talking. And I'm going to give you my best tip for getting ambient tones from guitar for post rock sounds. <laughs> why the changeover well for me what i was looking for is i needed a solution for direct recording when i'd be putting a song together i would save everything that exactly the way i wanted it as a patch and be able to go back do punch-ins re-record just made the process a lot more streamlined for me and my workflow and recording helix is an interface which makes the recording process of dialing the tone in that i want and being able to use Helix as an interface with zero latency into my recording software, just the perfect solution for me. The other thing it did for me was Line 6 Helix is a excellent direct live solution. I still play at church uh, about once a month and being able to have all my patches dialed in, all my sounds exactly the way I rehearse them at home, show up, give a signal to the front of the house engineer and have it sound exactly the way I know it's going to sound and have total control over it was a huge game changer for me. I have found the live applications of it, especially if you are running direct to front of the house, just awesome. And I love it. It also solved another problem that I had been struggling with. I have always been a one guitar guy for a long time. And the main reason why is um, I would always struggle that when I'd have um, you know, my pedal board and my amp totally, completely dialed in for one guitar, um, swapping over to another guitar, for me, it required tweaking everything and changing everything, um, which I got really sick of. Now, what I do with Helix is I get a guitar sound that I really love, and I make a Strat version of it, and I make a Telecaster version of it, and problem solved. Um, it's been awesome. And the fourth thing that I really love about Helix is it's just given me the opportunity to do something I've always wanted to do, which is build a library of dream rigs. I have recreated um, rigs from past bands that I've been in, um, and they sound awesome and totally true to what my brain remembers about those rigs. Um, and I've been able to build rigs that I would never be able to afford in the real world. But the recorded tone is exactly what I've been chasing. And it's a really cool thing to be able to just spend time and just craft a whole library of your own custom tones. <laughs> been going for uh, with the fracture is more of a post rock kind of spacey definitely inspired by a lot of like the late 90s shoegaze so here's the sound it's huge and not necessarily heavy it's ambient cleans that still have a lot of sparkle but don't get lost in the mix it occurred to me that there is a lot of common DNA that's shared in that post-rock sound with modern worship music. 
and going through the process of dialing in tones for playing at church, I discovered these modern worship tones work perfectly for the sound I was after for the fracture. So I'm going to take you guys on a little walkthrough of a couple patches that I put together. The first one is based on a Fender Bassman model and the patch is actually started from a Worship Tutorials Helix patch. Um, these guys really do a great job of putting patches together. Everything is mix ready and they just do a great job with their reverbs and delays and how they set up their snapshots and everything else in the patch and it really taught me a lot about sort of reverse engineering what I wanted from my tones digging into these patches. So the patch is based on the amp, which is a tweed Fender Bassman. Um, and I love Fender amps and the way they break up when you just push them really hard and the tubes just kind of oh, it almost sounds like the amps ready to explode. They just do something very cool. It also has a 410 uh, impulse response that comes with the patch and it's a perfect sound. I'm usually more of a 12, 212, 412 cab kind of guy, but the 410s just sound perfect in the basement. It's period correct for that amp and it sounds amazing. This patch is all about the amp breakup when those tubes uh, virtually are pushed. Um, and it's just the sound. This amp pairs perfectly with the Telecaster. Yeah, it's awesome. One thing about worship specific patches is the delays and reverbs have a tendency to feel a little overbaked, I guess I would say. Um, and at first I kind of struggled try pulling that stuff back, but I learned when mixing, it's sitting in a mix, it's really what the guitars want. Um, and to some extent, it's really what the guitars need for this specific type of genre, whether it's modern worship or whether it's post rock and kind of shoegaze, the guitars really need it. And these guys have done a fantastic job putting the patch together. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit of what some of the sounds are like. <laughs> I'm going to run you guys through is based on the orange rocker verb amp. This patch started out based on a preset by a guy named David Hislop. He's kind of known for a very specific sound. This patch is awesome. The reason why I love it is because the snapshots are set up perfectly to take you all the way from a really cool ambient clean all the way up to just full chug and it really works for what I do. I've tweaked it, I've changed a lot of things around to kind of suit my playing style. This patch uses dual cabs. It really works on this patch the way the two cabs complement each other. There is a really sweet compression on this patch and there's quite a bit of it and when I say sweet what I mean is that there is a certain sweetening to the sound that happens. When you click it off, you know it. Uh, some of it is from the way the amp is dialed in. Some of it is the compressor and the signal chain. Compression is one of those effects that when it's perfect, you almost shouldn't know it's there until you turn it off. In my opinion, that's when you know you've got your compression dialed in and this patch really has it dialed in.
That's about it for this video. Helix is, I'm a huge fan, if you can't tell. Um, do I have regrets about moving from uh, a big pedal board, playing through loud tube amps, uh, cranked way up? I have zero regrets. There are some things I miss, um, but it's not a deal breaker for me. Um, I miss my Strymon dig delay, but honestly, the problems that this solves for me outweigh any of the little things that I miss. And the reality is there's nothing stopping me from going at, going back, rebuying some of the pedals that I sold in order to fund this conversion and put them in the effects loop. But right now I am kind of doing everything in the box and for the future fracture stuff, I will continue to be doing it this way. And I'm excited to dig into it and bring you guys some more sounds. <laughs>